everyone, welcome to October Currently Inked video, aka Twisby has a chokehold on me, aka I'm in my shimmering ink era. Anyways, this is my favorite time of month, my favorite video to film, my favorite video to watch, and I thought I would start by talking about the inks that I um, used last month and how they went. So Vinta Laguna was in the Twisby Diamond 580 with um, the Smoke Rose Gold color, and I loved that ink. I wrote it dry. Actually, there was still a tiny bit left, but I cleaned it out and re-inked it with another ink. And that's um, <clears throat> the theme you're going to kind of see throughout is that I mostly swapped inks with pens, either because I was kind of just over the ink or because I wrote it dry. And um, then I also added new pens. So a lot of these pens, in fact, probably almost all of them are still in rotation just with different inks in them. All right, so Pilot Orochizuku Yamabudo in the Jin Jinha 100 is still going strong. There's only a tiny bit left, so I doubt it will last for the for the month of October. Diamine Blood Orange in the Diamond Mini White Rose Gold has been one of my favorites this month. I'm really enjoying the red orange color of it. Um, Brandy Dazzle in the Twisby Eco White Rose Gold was very nice. Um, I did switch out this ink. I put something else in this pen and it's not because I hated the ink or the pen combo at all. I just, I felt like I had a lot of oranges and I felt like it was one that I could switch out without missing it too much. I did empty the remainder of the ink into the ink vial. So I still have a lot of that sample left so I can definitely use it again. So that's why I don't feel bad about it. Um, Monteverde pumpkin cake. This was probably my least favorite just because the ink is not exciting to me. It felt like the nib on the pen didn't flow as well. Like you can see a lot of shading, but the shading was because I think that the pen was dry. I'm still using the Cornelian de Egypt in the Pilot Kakuno medium clear. That is going so, so well. And it is such a beautiful ink. It has never once clogged. It's flowed smooth and wet the entire time. Just such a reliable combo. I think this is a really wet, nice lubricated ink. I uninked this Jinhao 82 with the KWZ Honey. I originally moved it to a Twisby because I wanted it in a bigger nib, but then I ended up getting another color that looks almost exactly like honey, but with shimmer in it. So that I inked up instead, which is so, so beautiful. Um, yeah, so nothing wrong with this combo though. That was great. Ferris Wheel Press Ottoman Auburn um, in the Jinhao 82. So I found this Jinhao 82 over the course of the month, like it would start out writing really well. And then as I wrote down the page, it would get lighter and lighter and feel drier and drier to the point where it was just not a pleasant feeling. So I uninked that one pretty early on and I traded it for another yellow that is similar to this, but in a different pen. Um, but I do love this ink and I will try it in a different pen eventually, but I just wanted to try this other yellow ink um, as well. So yeah, unfortunately that Jinhao 82 did not do well with this ink. I think it would need a very, very wet ink in order to perform well. So these two, I decided that I liked the Goose Poupon better in the Jinhao X159. It has continued to be wonderful and smo, smo, <laughs> flow smoothly. I still have it inked. I am still using it. I have not come close to using it up because I don't reach for it that often but I do really enjoy it. Um, in the Pilot Prera, I did unink it since I decided I didn't like it as much in here and I re-inked this with something else, so you're gonna see that. Then um, the Esterbrook SD Botanical Garden, I had Monteverde Olivine. That was okay, but the ink wasn't very exciting for me, so I wasn't reaching for it as much and I really wanted to be excited to use that pen. Um, also, I found that it would have a similar issue to the Ottoman Auburn where as I got down the page in my writing, um, the ink would get lighter. And I'm kind of having the same issue with the ink that's in there now, which is a shimmer ink. So from a shimmer ink, I would expect that. From this one would not because that is a very lubricated and wet ink and it's just a traditional ink, no shimmer. So I'm kind of thinking it might be the pen, which is a real bummer for me because I don't understand why that would be. It has a size six nib and feed, like it's large. It doesn't seem like it should have flow issues. Um, 
I mean, it's not really, really bad to the point where like I can't use it for long writing sessions, but I would expect a pen of that price to be like perfect. Um, and I just don't understand why that's happening. So if anybody else has a um, Esterbrook SD, do you have that issue? Like, I'm really curious to know, like, is it just my pen? Do I need to contact them? Um, yeah, I'd like to know. So then I had Dominant Industry Autumn Forest in the Jinhao 100. Um, I really like the way that the Autumn Forest looks in a swatch like this, but this is definitely an ink issue. This ink lightens up so much when you're writing with it. Um, and it's just too bad. And I've seen, um, I saw Gail's bookish things say kind of the same thing, um, where in the swatch, it looks really beautiful and saturated and dark, but in the writing, it's just very light faded, kind of washed out looking. And that's just not what I want. I wanted this. So I started out the month really excited about this ink and then I ended the month kind of disappointed in it, but I did end up combining it with a couple of other inks to make two other new inks and I'm really happy with those. So that's kind of what I'm learning is if I'm bummed out about an ink not performing the way that I want it to, I can always combine it with something else to make something I like and I'm having a lot of fun doing that. In fact, a lot of my inks this month are ones that I have created. So I hope that that's interesting for you guys and that it'll like maybe inspire you to do that for yourself as well. I'm sure most of you already do, but um, yeah, so that was kind of a disappointment to me. Monteverde Moonstone was wonderful in the Pilot Prera fine. It was just such a great performer. I was actually worried that this was going to dry out in this pen um, and oxidize so that the ink would get darker. It never did that. It was wonderful. Um, I did end up uninking it, but it only had a tiny little bit left and I only had a tiny bit of the Moonstone left. So I combined that with another ink to create a new ink. And then lastly, I had the Ferris Wheel Press Beaver Dam Brown in the Caveco Macchiato and I still have that inked up. I still have like this much ink left. I don't want to unink it because I just love this brown and I think it's a perfect brown and I don't want to replace it with anything. So yeah, that's where we are at from last month. We'll start with the Esterbrook SD first. I did re-ink this with um, a shimmer ink and yeah, I wasn't joking when I said I'm in my shimmering era because most of these inks are shimmer inks. I am just so obsessed with them. I was so afraid to try shimmer inks for so long because I just didn't know like what it would be like. I didn't know what people meant when they said it would like clog your pen. I didn't know if that meant that like it would ruin the pen or if I wouldn't be able to clean it out. Like I was just really scared. And then finally I took the plunge and I can't look back because <laughs> I am obsessed with shimmer inks. I think they are so, so beautiful. So this is Diamine Wine Divine. And it's part of their Shimmertastic line. And this is the Esterbrook SD with a fine nib and it is Botanical Gardens. Or Garden, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, in this writing um, sample, it looks saturated and nice as it should. But if I were to continue writing down the page, it would definitely have a hard time like keeping up distributing the shimmer, which is fine. I kind of expect that, but it did that with the green ink too. So that's kind of giving me pause. And it also gets a lot lighter. So here is the Jinhao 100 and it's still inked up with the Yamabudo. And I really fully thought that when I did last month's currently inked that I would just continue using all of those inks and pens through October and maybe like change some of them in Hiroshizuku in November because I do and did have so many inked up um, and I was so happy with the pairs that I made. So I was kind of surprised when this month I just felt like changing things up and I held out for a long time. I really didn't start changing things until this last week. Um, so I did get a good, you know, 
nearly full month experience with the lineup that I had before. But um, I am happy to continue some of the ones that I did start last month as well. Okay, next we have the Pilot Pereira in the medium nib. This is the ivory color. And in here, I have Kobe 74, which is called Myodani or Miodani. I'm not sure. Cosmos Red. And it flows really, really well in this pen. Um, Pilot. Prera Medium Ivory. Okay, so I, <laughs> I got so many Twisbees last month. I am a little bit obsessed with Twisby and it's kind of hard for me to want to use other pens. I mean, these all three I love as well. So these three plus any kind of Twisby, I think, of the ones that I've tried are my favorite, like my favorite. And I don't, I feel like I never want to unink my Twisbees. Like I just want to keep them going all the time with different inks because they are so good. They are just so, so good. So I got this Twisby Diamond 580, just the regular, like original kind. And in here, I have a mixture of inks that I created. Um, okay, so this is Colorverse. Kujing Gok. KWZ Maroon, which I only used a tiny bit of that. And Diamine golden sands i combined golden sands i used up the whole sample combining it with different inks just to give them this gorgeous golden shimmer in twisby diamond 580 medium nib and yeah this nib is so smooth okay so we have the twisby diamond mini in white rose gold and you can see i still have quite a bit of that blood orange left which i'm happy about because this is one of my favorite fall colors right now and it's just so lubricated so smooth such a pleasure to write with in this pen It's like my pen is like gliding across the paper. It's so nice. And then this is the Twisby Diamond Mini. And this is a fine nib. I'm finding that Fine and medium Twisby nibs are my favorite as of this moment. I'm really liking medium for just like how well they handle and show the shimmer inks, but I'm also really liking fine because I really like the fine line. I think it's like the perfect fine. So next I have the J. Urban Cornelian D. Jeeped, and you can see I only have a little bit left. Let's see if there's more hiding up there. No, there's only that much left. So <clears throat> I don't know when this runs out, I'm not sure if I'll be able to resist inking it up again with the same ink because that's like the perfect fall orange. Am I right? It's so pretty. And it's so pleasant to use in here. It's just like literally the perfect writing experience. Yeah, I love that. 
that a lot. Okay, so a lot of you guys on one of my other videos, I think it might have been my last Currently Ink, said that I should try like mixing and matching my gin house. Oh no, it was on my collection video, my fountain pen collection. You said try mixing and matching like the finials, the caps, the, the barrel. So I thought, yeah, why not? I'll do that. So this one I'm calling my pumpkin spice latte pen. <laughs> but this is Colorverse. And also this pen feels a little bit dry, but now that I'm like writing with all these like wonderful Twisbees and like all these other ones, the Pilots, um, I'm finding that a lot of the Jin Hao 82s are not as wet, not as smooth. Not that it's not smooth, because it is smooth, but I want it to be wetter, you know what I mean? So I might work on the nib a little bit. It's a fine nib. Pumpkin spice latte with a fine nib. I do know that I really do like co Color Burst Coffee Break. So this one is my Jin Hao X750, which I dug out of retirement in my pantry because when I first got it like nearly a year ago, I thought I hated it. And then I was watching Christine's videos and she loves these. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it another try. And I did. And now I love it. <laughs> so I don't know why I hated it back then. I think I was just using the wrong inks. But yeah, I am super enjoying this. So this is the, oh shoot. Um, what's the ink in here? Oh yeah. Van Diemen's. Queensland gold mine in the Jinho X750. This has a medium nib, and I think this is called Starry Night. But yeah, this. Queensland gold mine ink is so beautiful. And one of the reasons why I uninked KWZ Honey is because this is the exact tone of honey, but with sparkle in it. So I felt like it would be redundant to have both, but oh my goodness, this one is so beautiful. Do you see that shimmer? I mean, I know it's still pretty wet, but um, look at this watch right there. So gorgeous. I'm really excited about that one. Okay, next is my Twisby Diamond 580 Smoke Rose Gold. And this was the one that kind of replaced Autumn and Auburn because it is a very similar yellow tone. But this is Diamine Honey Burst. I've had this ink for forever. And I've never inked it up, so I thought, why not? It, um, this is an extra fine nib, and this does feel like wet enough. It could be a little wetter, <laughs> but. Um, just be diamond 580. Like with the Vinta Laguna that was in here before, that definitely felt wetter than this, but that's okay. I really, really love this color, so beautiful. Um, smoke rose gold E F and just the black with the rose gold with like the the yellow color in the barrel is so so pretty to me. Okay, and then I did go ahead and buy another Pilot Kakuno in a medium nib in clear for another shimmer ink. You can see that shimmer in there. And this is another combo that I created. It's actually similar to this one, but instead of KWZ Maroon, I used Colorverse Ginkgo Tree, which made it a lot more brown slash yellow toned. So this one doesn't do as well with the shimmer as this Kakuno, but again, it's probably the ink. This one might have more shimmer in it or just like 
a chunkier shimmer. I'm not sure, but you can see that in the feed there is a bit of shimmer. So it's doing well. I mean, it's, it's holding up, but it's not as smooth as this one. So this is... And you can tell it's not as wet writing either. But the <clears throat> the money shot is when we get to look at these all at the end and they're all dry and you can see the shimmer in all its splendor because they are so sparkly. It's actually wetter than that one, so yeah. So pretty, such a pretty golden color. Okay, now on to my Jinhao X159. And this is still inked up with Ferris Wheel Press Goose Poupon. Um, this has never once dried up. It's never hard started. This is a really, seems like a really, really good pen that, you know, keeps the nib wet and just doesn't quit. All right, next we have the other Jinhao 100, and this had um, the Diamine Autumn Forest, or Diamine Dominant Industry Autumn Forest. And so there was a tiny bit left in there. I'm trying to see. There was a tiny bit left in there, and I thought, you know what? Instead of cleaning it out and all of that, I'm gonna leave the Autumn Forest in there, and I'm going to add the Sailor Kiyokuya, which is a very, very similar ink to the base color of the dominant industry, that same kind of dirty uh, olive color, and just see how it goes. And I'm really happy with the outcome because it definitely darkened the base color and it still has a tiny bit of that pink shimmer in it. So I think this is actually a perfect combination. So dominant... And it's writing like nice and wet in here too. Oops. No. Jinha 100, fine Kaigalu nib. And this is the green purple and yeah I have written like a good amount with this ink like on a page and it never got lighter so yay I feel like this is what autumn industry or autumn industry autumn forest would actually look like if the base stayed you know as saturated so look at that you can still see some of the shimmer in there can you on camera yeah look at the a and dominant and then the swatch on the side, you can definitely see it. And the base color has kind of like just gotten a little bit darker. So I'm really, really happy with that. All right. This one was a fun combination. So you can see some of that shimmer right there. Um, I really wanted to find a way to use that Vinta Piloncitos, but it just had way too much sh shimmer and clogged every pen that I tried it in. So I was like, okay, well, I can combine it with other inks. So this is what I did. Oh no, I haven't written, oh, I haven't written with this for a couple days. <clears throat> okay, 
don't shake the pen. Let that be a lesson to me. Yeah, so that's interesting that it dried out because I haven't written one of it for a few days. Anyways, it's probably that shimmer because that shimmer is like seriously. But whatever, this is such a pretty ink. Watch. Okay, so this is Monteverde Olivine. I ended up using the rest of my Olivine sample up on this too, and it was a good use. And then it was Vinta Pilancitos. And Robert Oster Avocado and Ferris Wheel Press Peppermint Drop. So yeah, this ended up being like a really big smorgasbord of different inks. I just kept adding stuff playing with it until I got the color that I wanted because originally it didn't come out as dark as I wanted. And this is the Twisby Eco Smoke Rose Gold. So yeah, that's my dark green that I created that I really love. Then we have my Twisby Diamond 580 in White Rose Gold. And this has another new favorite ink that I just was so surprised by and totally fell in love with. This is Ferris Wheel Press Cloak and Forest. And this is the Twisby Diamond 580 white rose gold and this is a medium nib and this combo is so smooth so wet so nice to write with oh my gosh i am obsessed completely obsessed with this combo um it dries a more green teal but it goes down a more blue teal so that's fun. Um, you can see right there, oh, what a pretty color that is. And it has a beautiful shimmer. So loving that. Then in my white rose gold Twisby, look at that, look at that. In my white rose gold Twisby Eco, I created another combo, which I'm stoked about. So there was like, maybe hmm, maybe a milliliter left of the dominant industry autumn forest in the sample vial that I had. I'm learning that they don't like to go this way to do swatches if, it, if they're kind of like dry or not flowing or whatever. They like to go up and down. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, so there was like a milliliter left of the autumn forest and I thought, let me combine it with a deep dark blue. And this is what happened. And it's so pretty. I'm so happy with this. At first I thought these two were gonna be really similar, but this is definitely navy blue. And this is definitely like a greenish teal once it dries. So as you can see, I got so much use out of that dominant industry autumn forest and got to create new inks with it. And because of the gorgeous like pink purple shimmer in there, it just, creates such a unique, beautiful looking um, ink. I love pink shimmer. Um, okay, so this was with Kobe, Kobe 38. Keaton Osaka, which means um, night blue. This is feeling a little bit dry right now, but I just wrote with it last night and it wasn't. So hopefully it's okay. But yeah, you can see like a lot of shading here, which is cool. And then this is the Twisby Eco White Rose Gold. And this is a medium nib 
but oh my gosh all of these inks are so stunning that I just I want to write with them all all the time like I really need to work on my transcribing because I want to use my pens so yeah you can see how these two look kind of similar actually really similar in the smear right there but first of all the shimmer is totally different so you can see the pink shimmer in the bottom one and the blue shimmer in the top one and then once this dries it's a lot more teal and this still looks like a darker blue i hope i'm going to be able to get it on camera because i'm using like artificial light because it's very gloomy outside oh my gosh i got this the Twisby Diamond Iris. <laughs> I'm telling you, Twisby has a chokehold on me. And I did combine two inks in here to make a beautiful purple shimmer ink. This also has a fine nib. So this is Kyo N Oto. And the color is called Ruri Iro plus Yamabuto. So the Kiyonoto ink is obviously a purple shimmer ink plus a little bit of Yamabuto, this hot or deep pink, and created this, which I'm so happy about and in love with. It's just a gorgeous purple. And this is a fine nib. This fine nib feels like the most feedbacky out of all of them. It even feels more feedbacky than the extra fine diamond, but it's not scratchy at all. So I'm okay with that. But um, I don't know. I kind of wish I would have gotten, I don't know, because it's a fine and the other fines I have feel wetter. So maybe it's just the ink. I'll have to try another ink in it when I'm done with that ink. But man, these inks are going to take a long time to use up because we all know Twizzy holds a grip of ink and... I don't know how I'm going to possibly use these up, but I also really don't want to unink them because I truly love all of these colors. Okay, so this one is another homemade creation. Super pretty. This is like a gray, light purple. All right, so what happened here was I had a tiny bit left, maybe half a mil of Sailor Kitsune Biori and maybe like a little bit more than a half a mil of Sailor Yozakura, and then maybe a mil of Monteverde Moonstone, and I thought, let me combine these three. But then I didn't like how pink it looked because of the Yozakura, so I added some Diamine Earl Grey, and then I thought, what can I add to make it shimmery? And I added a little bit of Diamine Dusted Truffle, and that is the recipe for this. <laughs> and um, I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I'm going to put MB for Monteverde Moonstone. Pause. Diamine. Earl Grey. Plus. Diamine Dusted Truffle, which I'm so excited to ink Dusted Truffle by itself. It's such a pretty color. And this is a regular Twisby Eco in... Uh, fine and this is the black one so yeah this is writing a little drier than it normally would without a shimmer ink but not too dry it's that's just such a pretty color i love that um okay so the next one is another twisby eco and bam look at that this is a gorgeous color i just made this today I'm so happy with it. Look at all that shimmer. Oh, and it's a medium nib, so I hope it can take it. Um, okay, I'm so happy with this. I also created this out of a couple of inks that I didn't have much of. So it was uh, Ferris Wheel Press Lady Rose. Um... And then Colorverse C Europa. I didn't have much of that one left. And it had very similar tones to Lady Rose. Um, just a little bit darker. So I wanted to 
use up that. I added that. Then I added um, color versus brunch date, just a tiny, tiny bit, just to give it a little bit more depth of color. Um, and then to get the shimmer, I did Van Diemen's Bengal Tiger Blaze, which has this gorgeous golden shimmer, my gosh. But yeah, this kind of has to be agitated a lot while you're writing. And you can just do this. I don't mind that. And then it was still too light for me, so I added a tiny bit, a tiny bit, like five drops of Ferris Wheel Press Beaver Dam Brown. And oh my gosh, the color this created. I love it so, so much. I'm so glad I have a full thing of it. I hope I don't get tired of it. Like what is with my short attention span with inks? It's because I want to use them all. Twisby Eco Clear. This is just a regular clear Twisby Eco. Medium nib. And... Yeah, I am in love with that one. And then my old standby. My Ferris wheel press. Beaver Dam Brown. And Caveco. Oh my gosh, this video is forever long. Sorry, you guys. Caveco, although when I'm like watching your guys's inked videos, the longer they are, the better. I love them. <laughs> I just love them. Caveco Skyline Sport. And I feel like I've been talking really fast too because I knew I had a lot to get through. Oh yeah, this is Macchiato. Dryer, but still good. So yeah, honestly, the only one that I think that I could do without right now is the coffee break. Just because I just don't feel like I need it. But at the same time, I did want like a mid-tone um, brown because you can see that I don't really have any mid-tone brown. I have this really dark brown. I have this pinky brown, this purpley brown, but no like this golden brown, but no like actual light mid-tone brown so anyways oh my gosh okay let's look at these one by one that wine divine stunning with its golden shimmer um I wish it wrote like that all the time but it only does for like the first two lines <laughs> which is fine whatever um in the Esterbrook Esty and then we have Pilot Rose Shizuku Yamabuto Kobe 74 and the Pilot Pereira this Colorverse combo that I made you can see the shimmers in that. In person, I can also definitely see them in the writing. And that one actually does really well distributing it all throughout the writing. But you can't see it on camera. Maybe just a tiny bit there. Yeah. So that one's really, really pretty. And then we have Blood Orange, which has some gorgeous shading even in right there. I just love that ink. And then Urban Cornaline de Jeeped. We have... Definitely some shimmer there, but it's kind of having a hard time picking that up. But just a gorgeous, perfect, like, orange color. Then we have Coffee Break, Van Diemen's Queensland Gold Mine, which is a shimmer powerhouse. Such a pretty, pretty ink. Diamine Honey Burst. Colorverse Q Jangok, another mix. Oh my gosh, that shimmer. Stop, it's so pretty. Uh, Ferris Wheel Press, Goose Poupon. The Dominant Industry, Autumn Forest. So can you see that shimmer in here? I think you can. And you can also see it in the swatch right here. Yeah, see that? The pink shimmer, so pretty. So actually like a tiny bit of shimmer goes a long way because there was not much left in that pen. Um, but yeah, really, really pretty combined with the Kiyokuya, which has a really nice texture, to be honest. Like it, it's very wet. 
Um, yeah, so I'm happy with that. And then we have this green combo. Look at all that shimmer. It's from this Vinta Piloncitos, which is like a shimmer. It's just like pure shimmer, basically. <laughs> but the way that it combines with all these other greens to create this perfect olive deep dark green, I am loving so much. And then we have Ferris Wheel Press Cloak and Forest. And then Dominant Industry Autumn Forest plus the Kobe Night Blue. So you can see, it's, I wish you could see, it's um, in person. This is definitely more green teal and this is more blue teal. But I do see how they look very similar on the screen other than that um, the differences in the shimmer. But oh my gosh, how stunning is that pink shimmer with the blue ink? That is just... A sight to behold. And then we have the Kyo and Oto Ruriiro with the Yamabuto. Also beautiful shimmers in there. That's more of like a pink violet kind of shimmer. So pretty. And we have the this one. <laughs> the shimmers are from the Dusted Truffle, but the combination of all of those inks is just a really pretty purple gray. And then this one, oh, I'm proud of this one, not gonna lie. This is like my color right here, dusty pinky brown with loads of gold shimmer. Yes, 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 yes. And then beaver damn brown. <laughs> so that is my currently inked. Oh my gosh, it's grown so much from last month. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen pens inked up. How am I going to use 19 pens? And I really truly want to use them all. I do. <laughs> so anyways, this is almost an hour. I need to go edit some of this out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. What's your favorite color here? Um, do you combine your own inks to make new inks? And yeah, thank you so much for hanging out and watching. And I'm looking forward to see all of your videos. So if you are on the fence about making a currently inked, please do it and do it soon so that I have something to watch. <laughs> and then come back here and comment so I can go to your channel and watch it. All right, thanks guys, have a good day.